at your weather from BCN's Weather Center. We've got a weak trough that produced some light scattered showers across the northern Bahamas. We don't anticipate this to be hanging around a whole lot. We've got this frontal system coming down through North Florida. This front is expected to ride off to the east and north of this area and not expected to dip down far enough until later on in the forecast period. Pretty strong high pressure over the Atlantic with the ridge of the high extending right over the northern Bahamas, elongated, extending into the central Bahamas. We're producing our satellite imagery, a few scattered clouds, nothing really to worry about, just a few scattered clouds off. Uh, you, you will see some sunshine today, some clouds down near Auckland's and Crooked Island, clouds down just uh, around the southern half, the second half of Abaco, some breaks up north, some clouds around Foxtown, extending into the berries down near South Andros this morning. Looking at our radar, some showers between the Northeast Providence Channel. You can see them off in the distance there uh, between a hole in the wall and North Eleuther. A few showers just to the north of uh, Nassau as well, west and around the berries and into Chubb Key. Let's take a look at the forecast for today. The winds are falling off 10 knots northeast to east. We got some ocean swells out there, so the raging conditions are still on. They will subside today and then they'll pick up again in the forecast period. Northeasterly swells at the nation's capital, 10 knots to north, northeast, up and down the coast. Slightly higher in the extreme southern Bahamas, 15 to 20 knots down beyond Ragged Island and also the southern half of Long Island. You get some 15 to 20 knots all the way down to Turks and Caicos and into the Providencia Isles. Your forecast. As far as the tropics concerned, we should be done with this by we the end of this week with no more tropical updates because the hurricane season is no more, will be no more at the end of the month. We thank God that, uh, you know, we continue to pray. We pray, we believe it's prayer that kept the storms away. I don't mind what you say. I am convinced it's prayer that keeps it away from us. Let's continue to do just that. The forecast for tomorrow, you'll see the frontal system becomes stationary just to the north of the Abacos and Grand Bahama. Another uh, Thanksgiving Day frontal system will be coming down across Kansas and into Dallas, then into the Mississippi uh, uh, and Alabama area as it makes its way down to the southeast. This front should be impacting us by about late Saturday or maybe early on to Sunday. All right, here's the forecast for your thanksgiving day oh let me bring mr turkey in here for you on thanksgiving we've got 10 knots northeast to east winds uh on up and down the bahamas so it'll be a pretty nice thanksgiving day or even though it's not a, an official celebration in the bahamas you'd hardly know it for as much turkey that's going to get eaten up and down the shores of this nation today tomorrow so you'll have a pretty mild day tomorrow 10 knots, nice for boating, nice for beaching, with the, again, north northeasterly flow and a beautiful, beautiful day. Go ahead and take your, your, fine, your family out to lunch or take your significant other out to lunch and enjoy a hearty Thanksgiving meal. The forecast for Friday, the winds picks up again. As that frontal system gets a little closer to us, look what happens. The seas build, 7 to 10 foot seas, unusually high because of the Atlantic Ocean being churned up from the trough and the frontal system to the north. The 7 to 10 foot seas and the swells will be from the north. Ragey conditions re-emerging on Friday. 10 to 15 knots from the south-southwest up and down the chain of the archipelago uh, of the Bahamas. All right, your forecast for boating today. Here's your boating forecast for today. 4 to 7 foot seas, the winds will be 10 knots from the north east to east across the nation today across the northern bahamas today are pretty much the same over the southern bahamas as well we do want boaters to exercise caution there's a ragey swell rage ocean swells that be uh, occurring as well 15 to 20 knots in the southeast bahamas the southern bahamas six to eight foot seas offshore high tides occurring at 9 36 Low at 4.13 in the afternoon, high tonight at 9.56 p.m. If you are going to do some boating, uh, just stay on the Bay and Inland Waters. 
because you go out and you'll have some serious swells if you go out in the Atlantic. Find your favorite spot to fish off the rocks and you should find some fish biting with this full moon on the downside of the full moon. That's our BCN weather from our BCN's Weather Center brought to you by Sky Bahamas Limited. When I fly, I fly with Sky.